Hello, and welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing? Oh, <laughs> thank you, Jonas, for the uh, for the subscription. Thank you very much. Uh, two months. I can't believe that I've already been uh, uh, that I've been streaming for two months. Like that's crazy to me. Wow. Thank you very much. Um. I yeah. So I I kind of just on a whim decided that I I wanted to to read some poetry today. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's it's basically a year, you know. It's the same thing. Um, and so I just decided to throw up a stream. And, you know, I, I, I know I need to learn consistency and I need to make things like schedules and all that stuff. But, like, eh, screw it. Right? Um, so, yeah. I... Uh, <laughs> well, I'm glad. I'm glad that no one's complaining about hearing my voice and spending time with me. That's that's good. Um, I'm gonna pull up. Uh, I'm gonna pull up some poetry. Oh, nope, that's not the button. Some typing ASMR for you guys. Um, uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna read uh, some pub some public domain Robert Frost poems um, because I love Robert Frost. Um, when I was uh, when I was in in grade school, I did uh, I did several projects on um, on Robert Frost and. Uh, this was in like seventh and eighth grade, um, and so he uh, a a couple of his a, a couple of his more popular poems really uh, really spoke to me, and I just want to read some of them um, because I can. Um, okay, so. Does does anybody uh, does anybody actually have any Robert Frost poems that they uh, that they really like and that they would recommend that I read or should I just read some of my favorites? Because I have a I have a few. Actually, I can put us in gaming and edit the screen capture right. Uh, bam. Uh, let's get rid of you, ad for GoDaddy. Yeah, uh, so I wonder. Uh, I wonder okay when I when I was a kid uh my my absolute favorite besides the one that everybody knows um uh the the two roads one uh road not taken uh was it was always fire and ice and it's it's a really short uh, it's a really short poem. Hi, Lexi Cat. Hello. How's it going? Um. Ah. No, I don't. Okay. Um. So yeah, let me let me just read. 
fire and ice. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, just like you know, decided that I wanted to stream it last minute uh, and threw it through all through all this together because I want to read some poetry out loud. Um, Fire and Ice by Robert Lee Frost. Some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to know that for destruction, ice is also great and would suffice. It's, it's just, it's a short and sweet, well, not sweet, but like a, it's a, it's a really poignant, uh, it's a poignant poem that I think, um, it's, it's kind of like, uh, how I, I forget the, I forget whether it's a song or a different poem that, where the um the writer talks about how uh I'm not gonna remember um but like there's there i it, it's it's kind of like sorry i a little bit scatterbrained um it's there's there's like this this idea of how uh how our world will end right well either uh either it's going to either it's going to go quietly or it's going to go really loudly um and i think i think that Robert, that frost is is in a really short and succinct way saying that well both of them both of them are pretty bad right um but he thinks he's he's betting that uh that it's all going to go down in flames rather than um being like you know going down quietly with nobody around um, we've, uh, we've kind of like all, you know, frozen, whatever, whatever, whatever word you want to use. Um, and I, I just think that it's a really, it's a sad, but kind of beautiful little poem. Um, and I, I don't, I don't think that I'm articulating well how, uh, I, I don't think I'm articulating quite right how like how the poem w what the poem means, but you know, whatever. Um, poetry is poetry is all about your personal um, interpretations, anyway. Okay, let's move on to. Uh, the road the road not taken the road not taken by robert lee frost two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both and be one traveler long i stood and looked down one as far as i could to where it bent in the undergrowth then took the other as just as fair, and per and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though, as for that, the passing there had worn them really about the same. And both that morning, e and uh, and both that morning equally lay in leaves. No, uh, no step had trod in black. Oh, I kept the first, uh, the first for another day. Yet knowing, uh, yet knowing how, 
way leads on to way. I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. So, the road, the road not taken is, uh, is by far the most, uh, well-known Robert Frost poem. Um, and it's one of the most well-known poems in, like, all of poetry, <laughs> at least modern poetry. Hi, Noir. Welcome. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. We're just reading some poetry, talking about poetry. Talking about Robert Frost. Yeah, yeah. Well, welcome. We're we're happy to have you. Um. So, uh, let me close some of these ads. I should. the side ones um so yeah uh like i said the road not taken is um is the is the poem that uh that robert frost is most known for um it's also the one that is um it's one of the most misunderstood poems in like in all of poetry <laughs> pretty much um so there's th there's this ongoing debate about what this poem means. Um, many, uh, many, I'm very quiet. Uh-oh. Um, let me see. Is that better? Double my output. Hmm. Well, on, uh, on Streamlabs, I'm as high as I can go, I think. Yeah. Let me, uh, turn up my mic on the, a gain filter. Okay. How do I do that? It's la uh, yeah. I don't know. I tur uh, I turned up my mic like on my mic, um, and I turned it up pretty much all the way I can I can on my uh, on my mic. Uh, I d I don't know why I would sound quiet. Uh, yeah, I I don't I don't know why I would sound quiet on your end. Noir. Um, hmm. Is so is any is anybody else having trouble hear, hearing me? I know Jonah says that I'm I'm okay, but is anybody else having trouble hearing me? I don't want you guys to not be able to hear me. <laughs> yeah, tech is always wonky. Okay, well, uh, 
if 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 you can hear me, um, Noir. Um, hmm. How do I uh? How do I add a gain? Like you said. Okay, I'm uh, okay. I'm I'm okay now. Good, that's fine. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so there's there's basically two. Um. Okay, thanks. I'll uh. I'll I'll do, I'll probably do that in a in a bit. Um. Pretty quiet at the beginning. Okay. Yeah, it happens. Um, so yeah, there's there's two uh, there's two basic um, ways of looking at this poem. Um, the one that most people look at this poem as is um, is a celebration of like being weird, um, of of following your dreams um, because the uh, the guy or the narrator in this in this poem because the narrator is not necessarily Robert Frost himself um um the narrator basically is walking down these two path or this one path in his life and then um is uh he has a choice between one of two paths um in his life and he chooses the one that is messy and grassy and hasn't been trodden on by all the other people right um the uh he like he becomes a poet he becomes an author or he he chooses creativity over like you know whatever whatever a normal life a normal career is um and and that works out well for him. Um, or it, it, you know, it, in the end, he says, I, he took the path less traveled by and it made all the difference. So like, it seems uh, under this reading, it seems pretty clear that, um, that at least going down and going down the, the path that he did, uh, was a good thing, right? It it made his life worthwhile. It made him uh, enjoy his life more. Um, you know, whatever. Um, but there's also there's also a different reading where the uh, where Robert Frost is actually making a oh thank you. Thank you, uh, Noir, for the follow. Thank you very much, and welcome to the library. Um, we're happy to have you. Uh, there's also the the reading of this poem where taking the road less traveled by isn't actually that good of a thing, because in the end, uh, as as the poem says, like it didn't end up making that much of a difference. Um, because, uh, in the second stanza, it says, you know, he, he, he wanted, he wanted to go down this, uh, this path because, um, uh, because it had the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear. Uh, he, he wanted to travel this path because it was untrodden, but as he trod it, it became, uh, it became worn and about the same as the other path. So really they're the two paths aren't that aren't that uh aren't that different, right? Um and he's and and now he's look he's looking back on his life ages and ages hence um and even though he did take the road less traveled by uh the road less traveled by kind of ended up 
in the same and he ended up in the same place that he would have uh eventually anyway if he had taken the path that wasn't as that was traveled by if that makes sense um so it's it's interesting and like obviously we we prefer to think that uh in this situation like going going down the path less traveled by uh and following your dreams and you know like becoming a vtuber or uh or doing like doing things that normal people don't do um would lead to a fulfilling life for us uh and you know and obviously there's there's a lot of fun hi hello hello sleepy, uh, sleepy snake Welcome to the stream. Yes, comfy vibes. Yes, as we talk about whether or not, uh, what well, whether or not anything we do in life has any meaning. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, oh, and and thank you for the for the follow earlier, uh, Sleepy Snake. Um, thank you very much. Um, you followed before the stream started, so yeah. Um, but like, but, um, in the end, uh, when you, when you think about it, like no matter what, uh, no matter what job you do, um, under this, like under this more, um, pessimistic reading of the poem, no matter what job you do, you are still working, uh, you're still working, you know, all your life to uh to make money for you know so you can eat and survive and live and pay rent and pay all your bills um until you know you're 65 or whenever re whenever retired re whenever retirement age is uh and it doesn't matter what job you did you still have to work you still have to do all that work before you can retire um, so in the end, does it make a difference? I would argue yes. Uh, I, I, I tend, I tend to agree with the, um, less pessimistic version of, of the poem just because it makes me, f it, it like, obviously it makes me feel better about the choices that I'm making, but also like, I, I feel that it absolutely does make a difference. Um, oh, we just read Fire and Ice. Fire and Ice is, uh, is really good, too. It's one of my favorites. Um, yeah, Frost is really dope. Um, and, like, obvi obviously, I, I want... Uh, we all want to, like, feel that our, that our creative... Uh, our creative careers and... Uh, and trying to make a, a living for ourselves doing what we dream of obviously that to me in my mind makes a difference um because you you're going to probably enjoy doing the work more than if you're doing some kind of like pencil pushing busy work all day for you know 30, 40, 50 years before you can retire. Um, so yeah, I, I, I tend to, I tend to agree with the less pessimistic version. Um, but I can definitely see where in the, uh, in the grand scheme of things, the poem is saying that like, that no matter which path you choose, eventually you're going to get basically to the same place in life. Um, but that's that's depressing. So let's not let's not make life more depressing than it actually than it already is, right? <laughs> does that does that make sense? Like, do those those two uh, readings of the poem make sense? And what do you guys think? Um, is this uh is this poem optimistic or is it 
depressing and pessimistic and none of what we do, none of the choices that we make about our lives matter. <laughs> I'm interested to hear what you guys think. I know it's a, it's a difficult question. Yeah. Yeah, it 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 doesn't necessarily have to have to be good or bad. <laughs> you you're here for the right uh you're here uh for the right in the right place, Rhyme Jack, if you want Robert Frost discourse. We're talking about the the road not taken and how it's uh it can be read either as um as a celebration of the uh of the creative non traditional lifestyle um or it can be read as a kind of pessimistic bleaker uh reading of life. Yeah, it it def it definitely depends. It depends on uh the person's point of view. Um I just I think it's really funny that when um that whenever I've read like ar articles or seen critics um or academics talk about the road not taken they they always title they always title their articles things like um the road not taken, the most misunderstood poem ever. Um, and they, uh, and inevitably when they, uh, when they title their articles like that, it's because they are go there. They want to, uh, say that the pessimistic version is the only true, uh, what is the only true meaning of the poem and that Robert Frost, um, definitely meant it to be pessimistic as hell. Uh, and that anyone who reads it as an optimistic poem is just wrong. And that's not how poetry works. Right. Um, it just, it depends, it depends on who is reading it, uh, and their life experiences, um, and what they want to get out of the poem. Hmm. I know that. I rem I I vaguely remember. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, every everybody has their own interpretations of uh, of poetry. Let's do. Um, uh, what was it? Stopping by woods on a snowy evening. Yeah. Uh, e even uh, even that has made all the difference. So like. T typically I would um typically I would view uh that has made all the difference as a good thing but it, it, actually you're right uh it doesn't necessarily mean that it it was good or bad um it uh like if uh if the reason why your life uh why your life took a, a bad turn was because you took a certain uh, path down the road in life, then yeah, that it definitely like it made all the difference in the end that you, uh, that you weren't 
happy in your life because you took this path, this un this unbeaten path, rather than just like taking, uh, taking like the corporate job or, or whatever, um, and like working forty hours a week, getting you know your paycheck and retiring eventually. Um, so yeah, it 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 could be good or bad, um, depending on how you how you feel about it and how you interpret it. Yeah, that's true. And it's definitely it's definitely really good when uh, I I love poems that make you think and make uh, you like um, they don't come out and tell you exactly what they mean, uh, and they and they leave you guessing. Okay. Um, Stopping by woods uh, on a snowy evening. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see, see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it's queer to stop without a farmhouse near, between the woods and frozen lake, the darkness evening of the year. He gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there's some mistake. The only other sounds, the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. I like this. Uh, I like this poem because um again it's it's one of those poems that um it's about people taking uh taking a minute to stop and consider uh, and consider things in life um there isn't like a, a lot of people wouldn't uh, wouldn't just stop in the middle of the woods to like look at the woods, um, and and especially in winter to like to see oh this uh this is a pretty forest right like most uh most people especially nowadays would just like you know it's cold I don't want to be uh I I want to get inside. Um, they, people would be like the horse, like, what are you doing? Why are you, uh, why are we out in the cold on the darkest evening of the year? Um, just like staring at the woods where there's tons of snow falling, uh, and what's going on? Like, why are, why aren't we, uh, why aren't we by the fireplace, um, getting warm, you know? But there's a lot of simple beauty out there. And yes, and the rhyme scheme is really good. Yeah. Um, it's got a uh A B A B uh A near lake, nope. So it it skips uh it skips some rhymes actually a little bit. And then the last stanza or so it's a b a b a a c a c c d <laughs> C, D D D D. <laughs> uh, it's 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 an interesting rhyme scheme. Definitely. And like it's it's again it's a simple it's a simple poem, that has a that has a lot of beauty in it. 
Um, and I think that Robert Frost is really good at, um, at writing really simple, really beautiful poems. And I think, uh, and I think that we also, um, we've all been in both, in both of these situations. Uh, we've both been the guy who's looking at something beautiful, um, or that he thinks is beautiful. And we've all been the horse who, uh, is someone who doesn't understand what's beautiful about whatever you're look, whatever the other guy's looking at. Um, so yeah, I, th I think, I think that it's, uh, it speaks to a common, um, a common experience in, in our lives that we, that we all can relate to. Poetry is cool, guys. <clears throat> um, does anybody else, uh, d does anyone have uh, a Robert Frost poem that they'd like to request? We can do uh, any anything. And then afterwards we might uh we might play uh some games. I know, uh, Sleepy. You said uh, you said Fire and Ice was was your favorite, so we can we can do Fire and Ice again. It's really short. <clears throat> okay, we can we uh, we can look at uh, at Thor Gold, um, but let's do Fire and Ice first. Um, Fire and Ice. Some say the world will end in fire. Some say in ice. For when I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if it had to, ha uh, if it had to perish twice, I think I know of hate. I think I know enough of hate to know that for destruction, ice is also great. And would suffice. Have you uh, have you heard of stimulus fasting? Globalist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't. So I haven't like heard that specific term um but i i definitely think that it's uh it's very helpful to uh to slow down uh and you know touch the grass um as the, as the elden ring would have us do um uh and also just appreciate the the small things in life uh like a winter wood um uh with snow and and all that stuff but yeah i think i think that uh fire, fire and ice is a is a really interesting poem um for a bunch of reasons um and like like i said earlier uh there's there are these two 
there are these two ways in which Frost imagines the world could end. Um, and he thinks, uh, he, he, orig he originally thinks that, um, that it's all going to end in fire. Um, because we're humans and we just can't help ourselves. Um, but he also knows that, uh, that maybe ice is just as, is just as, is just as nice, <laughs> uh, a, a way to go as in fire. Um, and I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe ice, like, I, th I think that he, again, is leaving it up to, uh, the reader interpretation. Like, what do you, what do you think would, uh, would be better, the ice or fire? Um, because he says that, like, either, uh, either way would suffice. It was? Uh, this poem was referenced in Twilight Eclipse? What? I haven't, uh, I haven't read the Twilight series, so I don't, I don't know. How is it, uh, how is it, um, how is it referenced in Twilight, or in Twilight Eclipse? That's fascinating. Didn't know Stephanie Meyer read Robert Frost. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, you know. I guess, uh, I guess Bella is, uh, is a fan of poetry, which is good, I guess. I don't, uh, I don't want to, like, um, I don't want to say anything bad about like anyone's taste in literature. Like you, uh, you can read whatever you want, um, and enjoy whatever you want. Um, as long as it's not hurting anybody. Um, the, the Twilight books were never really for me. Uh, I didn't, I, I wasn't the, I wasn't the demographic, so I didn't read them. <laughs> That's all I'll say on that. Just like Forrest Gump. That's all I have to say about that. I recently watched Forrest Gump, so that's that's why it's on my mind on my mind. Um so gold. Gold, gold, gold. <laughs> yeah. You you are not alone. A lot of people uh a lot of people love those books. Gold. A peck of gold, maybe? Or nothing gold can stay? Jonas, you read the... Do you read the Twilight books? I didn't know that. We can, uh... We can do both. Let's... Let's be real. I well, another thing that I love about Robert Frost is that none of his poems are more than like twenty lines. <laughs> They're so short. Uh, okay. Nothing gold can stay. Oh, there you go. Nothing gold can stay. Uh. Nature's first green is gold, her hardest hue to hold. Her er her early leaf's a flower, but only so an hour. Then leaf subsides to leaf, so Eden sank to grief. So dawn goes down to day, nothing gold can stay. Another, another like another sad, beautiful poem. 
about how uh how nature is always changing um and nature is always like all that is uh you know it it for some reason it just reminds me of all that is glow all that is gold does not glitter um but you know there's uh there's that beauty in the first in the first uh green in spring of that nature brings um and it's golden but it also is the first it's the first color that goes away in fall um besides like the evergreens obviously but we won't count them um but yeah it's it's another it's another just beautiful simple little poem um and it's like it's just very simple very easy language to read and it gets it gets the point across very well so yeah i just i i love robert frost he's so great Yeah. Yeah, nothing uh nothing beautiful lasts forever. Uh well, nothing lasts forever at all. Um and yeah. And it's it, yeah, and there's also there's also that whole uh, uh thing like, you know, youth doesn't last, life doesn't last. Um and it's not uh something isn't or wasn't wasn't it wasn't it vision uh in the in the marvel movies who said that something isn't uh something isn't beautiful because it lasts um yeah that was a that was a really great idea thanks for the thanks for that sleepy uh snake Um, okay, let's do another, another gold poem. Ah, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Matsu. Um, Robert Frost is, uh, is great. I love, I love Robert Frost. Um, a peck of gold. Dust always blowing about the town, except when sea fog lay it down. And I was one of the children told. Some of the blowing dust was gold. All the dust the all the dust blew bleh. all the dust the wind blew high appeared like God in the sunset sky. But I was one of the children told some of the dust was really gold. Such was life in the Golden Gate. Uh Gold dusted all we ate and uh, all we drank and ate. And I was one of the children told, we must all eat our peck of gold. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's, um, there's a real, like, uh, cyclical nature of, grief and uh and how how time passes and how things change but also changes changes the good thing a lot of the time so yeah it's 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 really interesting um one of the one of the interesting things about this poem um i don't know if you if you know this but uh i'm pretty sure that robert frost lived in san francisco for a long time um he's a, he's originally from uh new england but he lived in san francisco for a long time and worked as a journalist um in san francisco so such was life in the golden gate the golden gate bridge um 
So there's that. Um, And I think, again, we, we get this, but I think, I think that in this instance, gold may not actually be that much of a good thing. Um, at least in, uh, in the view that, um, like gold is, uh, uh, gold is beautiful. Um, at least in the, in the poem. But like, the sea fog doesn't have gold in it. Like, <laughs> these people are lying to these kids um, when they say that there's uh, that there's gold uh, in in the in the dust, um, and it almost it almost feels like there is a uh, kind of a Gatsby feel about it, um, where they are like they're getting they're getting drunk on the beauty of their own city like the the golden gates the uh the gold in the air um the uh the california gold rush like it 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 just it feels like the gold is is actually something a little bit sinister i don't i don't know if if I'm just, if I'm reading way too much into that, but, um, but it, it feels, yeah, yes, exactly. Gold, gold can also be seen as toxic, um, in a, in a city, in a cityscape. Like it's, uh, it, it feels, it feels very like nouveau riche, arrogant, are Gatsby-esque. Um, and where where was it? Uh, the all the dust that uh, the the wind blew high appeared like God in the sky. Like how how high did they think of themselves in this city that their that their cityscape is like God? right uh it's uh and and they have to and you know and they're they're saying that there's dust blowing all uh, there's there's this dust that's actually gold that is uh that's blowing all around them um and they have to like they have to eat and drink it they have to like they have to believe in this city so much that you know it it just it feels it feels very like arrogant um that there's this idea that gold that they are golden that the city is gold But again, that's that's just my interpretation. That like it's you do not need to uh you don't need to follow along in my diatribe against San Francisco. It's a lovely city. <laughs> um They don't have as much smog as LA does. Or did. I don't know if LA still has smog. Um, let's see. Robert Frost loves to write poems about, uh, about the woods. <laughs> um, An Old Man Winter's Night. Let's, let's do that one. Oh, that's a long stanza for Robert Frost. <clears throat> An old man's winter night. All out of doors looked darkly in at him, through the thin frost almost in separate stars. 
uh, almost in, almost in separate stars that gathers on a pane in empty rooms. What kept his eyes from giving back the gaze was the lamp tilted near, uh, near them in his hand. What kept him from remembering what it was that brought him to that creaking room was age. He stood with barrels round him at a loss, and having scared the cellar around him in clomping there, he scared it once again in clomping, in clomping off, and scared the outer, and the outer night, which has its sounds familiar like a roar, of, like a roar of trees and, cracked, and crack of branches, common things but nothing so like beating on a box. A light he was to no one but himself. Where he now sat, concerned with what he, uh, with he knew what. A quiet light, and then not even that. He consigned to the moon, such as she was, so late arising to the broken moon as better than the sun in any case. For such a charge, his snow upon the roof, his icicles along the wall to keep, and sleep, or er, and slept. The log that shifted, with uh, with a jolt, once in the stove, dis uh, disturbed him, and he shifted, and eased his heavy breathing, but he but still slept. One aged man, one man, can't keep a house, a farm, a countryside, or if he can, it's thus he does it of a winter night. That's interesting. I feel like this one is way darker than all the rest of the poems that we've read. Um... I don't I don't think I've ever I've ever read this one before. And I'm I'm taking it in like it it, it feels it feels much more pessimistic uh, uh obviously than like than I'm used to frost uh than I'm used to frost writing about. Um, this lonely man, he, he sounds like just this dark and broken man, uh, who's basically turned everyone away. Um, and he's all alone in, uh, in his cellar and his attic. Uh, it's interesting. And, and like, and yeah, it, it, it's very desolate. Um, and like one aged man, one man can't keep a house, uh, a farm, a countryside, or if he can, it's less he does it of a winter night. And like, and he, and he, so he, uh, he can do it. He can do it on a winter night because there's nothing to do. Right. Um, there's no, there's no crops to farm in the winter there's no uh uh like all all he has to do is sit there like go in the cellar scare the cellar somehow or scare something in the cellar it's it's interesting it's very bleak Comforting to me like an Elton of life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it feels like this, uh, like, it feels like Frost is warning you not to be like that guy. <laughs> Don't be like this dude. That's true. 
That's true. A, a hidden acceptance and growing old and like, and knowing that like he, uh, where was it? Um, a light he, he was to no one but himself. Like this, this guy, he's, uh, he's not a very nice person to anyone but himself. Um, but maybe that's just what, how he, how he likes it. Like he doesn't like other people. Um, and he, pre uh, he prefers the company of like the moon rather than having to, um, having to go around in the sunlight and, uh, and interact with people. Cause that's when people would be most active. Right. That's, that is a good take. Yeah. That's an interesting poem. Ah. Oh. Let's do Candace Major as uh Um Right, yeah, it it could have been uh it could have been the lesser of, of all the evil uh, alternatives in this guy's life. Right. Um let's do uh Candace Major as an as an homage to uh the James Webb's uh space telescope that has been releasing some really beautiful images um canis major the great overdog that heavenly beast with a star and one eye gives a leap in the east he dances upright all the way to the west and never once drops on his forefeet to rest I'm a poor underdog, but tonight I will bark with the great overdog that romps through the dark. That's a fun poem. Um, so like he's, uh, the, the narrator, like, so we, we have to distinguish that the narr that the narrator in poetry is not the same as the author. Um, the narrator is uh is this guy who's you know he's tired and he has to go to sleep um from working all day um but he's looking up at the at the stars and he sees Candace major um in the east and he watches it he watches as this uh as the earth rotation of the earth's rotation makes it go into the west um and the constellation never dips below the horizon um and he's taking comfort in uh in that uh in how you know this uh this dog or this this giant constellation um is you know it never gets tired it's up all night uh partying in the dark uh and the narrator is wants to do it this one night to take tonight and bark with the with Canis Major. That's a fun poem. Let's see. On a tree falling across the road. Yeah, it's 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 like it's a short and sweet poem uh that's you know. It's okay. Like it's it's definitely not as like depressing as as some of his poems um 
on a tree falling across the road. To hear us talk. The tree, the tempest with, uh, with a crash of wood, throws down in front of us, is not bar our. It is not bar our passage, to our journey's end for good. But just to ask us, who we think we are. Insisting always on our own way, so, she likes to halt us in our runner in our runner tracks, and make us get down in a foot of snow, debating what to do without an axe. And yet, she knows obstruction is in vain. We will not put off the final goal. Uh, we will not be put off the final goal. We have it hidden in us to attain. Not though, uh, not though we have to seize earth by the pole. And tired of aimless circling in one place steer straight off after something into space interesting so yeah basically there's uh there's this force um in uh in nature that is trying to like halt human progress i guess um and throw like obstacles in our past in our in our path um like trees uh falling down in our in our road um and we have to debate what we're going to do about it yeah exactly the the tree is stopping us from moving forward um and we can just like we we and we have a ton of options in how we uh we pass it by we can go around it we can go over it we can dig it out um and chop it up with with an axe but we are going to get through that tree <laughs> um and uh there's there's nothing that there's nothing that nature can do to stop the inexorable walk of humanity towards the future, I guess. Yeah, humanity's ambitions are way too strong uh for one tr for one tree uh for one tree to stop us. Yeah. Let's see. of snow no i don't want a, a go daddy at i i want my i want my robert frost poem Ooh, that's a really short one um dust of snow the way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day i had ruled rude Okay. That's that's really sh that's really short. <laughs> um What do you think? I th I think it's it's kind of like it's an it's an it's an interesting thing for the narrator to like cha he he changed his mood. Uh, honestly, like it, it feels like a Facebook status or a, or a tweet. Like the Frost uh, gets gets on, uh, gets on Facebook or Twitter and says, "By the way, this uh, I was walking in this and uh, I was walking around and this crow was in this uh, in this hemlock tree and it 
for some reason had a bunch of snow on it and shook it and it fell on me. And it was the best thing that happened to me that day. <laughs> right? Yeah. Admiring the beauty of winter is, is important here, yeah. It definitely feels like something that, that literally happened to Frost. Um, it, uh, it, it definitely, it definitely feels like that. But also, yeah, the beauty of nature is, is quite important. Yeah, you're right. Acquainted with the night. Ooh. Acquainted with the night. I have been one acquainted with the night. I have walked out in rain and back in rain. I have outwalked the furthest city light. I have looked down the side of city lane. I have passed by the watchman on his beat and dropped my eyes, unwilling to explain. I have stood still and stopped the sound of feet. When far away an interrupted cry came, from o came over houses from another street. But not to call me back or say goodbye, and further still, at an, earth, at an unearthly height, a luminary clock against the sky proclaimed the time was neither wrong nor right. I have been one acquainted with the night. Again, just like Frost, uh, Frost has, he has a fixation and a, a fascination with like going, uh, uh, going on walks, um, and describing how his walks feel, right? It's beautiful and calm. Just, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's actually that's actually really a really good point. It is a pretty good uh description of depression. Um and one of the one of the things that one of the things that sometimes people do when they feel depressed is they walk, right? He's uh the narrator is walking around um in the middle of the night, uh and refuses to explain to the uh to the policeman why he's around why why he's wandering around late at night um you know and people aren't uh people people are crying but they're not trying to like get him to come back they're not trying to say goodbye to him um you know it is it is a little bit depressing but Par for the course with, with Frost. <laughs> okay. I've... Hmm... Does anybody uh, else have um, another have another uh, Robert Frost poem that they really like that I can read? If not, uh, I have a I have a game that I that I like to try. That that sounds really good.
so I think we've done, we've read a bunch of Robert Frost poems, um, and we all agree that he is, that he's, that he makes us think, and that he um, sometimes makes us a little bit sad. <laughs> and he definitely wants us to look at nature. Um, but I, uh, I, I kind of want to shift gears and, um, I want to play a game called, um, Gris. Um, and I've, I've heard this game is really, like, is really beautiful. Um, and I want to give it a try. So I'm going to switch, uh, I'm going to switch gears and go over to that. Hold on just a second. Let me just pull it up. Okay. Let me uh, game time, yeah, game time. Okay. Um, has anyone uh, has anyone played this game before? I have not, um, but I've heard that it's really beautiful. And uh, can you hear the music? Uh, it's not showing up on. That's interesting. You should be able to see it. Hmm. No music. That's sad. Okay, hold on. Let me try and fix it. Oh, no. I don't want... No. Game. No. Screen capture. Maybe game capture instead. Hold on. Let me add. Uh. Game capture. No. Not browser source. There we go. Um, let's send that to the back. No. I'm gone. Oh, no. Uh, can I send that back a little bit? There we go. Sounds not playing? Okay. Hold on just a second, sorry. I don't know why. It should be. I have desktop audio on. Uh, can you hear it now?
Okay, cool. All right. So we had a girl, we have a girl who uh, is, oh, oh no, she fell down. <laughs> she was, she was tired. Yeah, I've uh, I heard of, I've heard a lot of great things about this game, um, but I never I never played it. Pfft, oh no. Nope. Now's not the time to sit down. Uh, can I? Can I jump? No. Where are, where are my controls? Settings. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, keyboard. No. Ah, uh, oh, really? Oh, fine. Come on. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out the controls. Uh, apparently, I don't have the ability to jump. Hmm. The camera's panning. We're panning, guys. We're panning as we're walking. I think that this game is uh, supposed to be very much about, like, grief um, and the... no, get up. I didn't even press anything. Oh. Oh, why are you sad? Oh, I can run. I can jump! I can jump! The sound design in the... The sound design is gorgeous. Can I... Okay, I can use my controller. What is going on? I have no idea what's going on, but I'm loving it. It feels like, um, it feels like Journey. Oh, thank you for the raid, uh, cat, uh, the Cheshire Mouse. Thank you very much. Welcome, raiders. Um, we, uh, we, we were, we were doing some, uh, some poetry reading, and now we are, uh, doing some, uh, we're playing Gris. Uh, Dracula went amazing, uh, I, I loved reading Dracula, um, and I I need to finish uh, putting up the the final vod on on YouTube. But yeah, uh, let me turn down the sound a little bit. Um. But yeah, we uh we did some we read some Robert Frost earlier uh and now we are playing Gris. Uh I don't know. Hello Hardhead. Oh, um, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much Hardhead. Um welcome to the library and 
we welcome uh we welcome you um this is this is my first time playing gris uh and so far i'm loving it like i've only played about a minute of it and the sound design and the level design is just amazing so yeah Oh yeah, you're good. Uh you're good, hardhead. Thanks for uh thanks for lurking. I'm so glad that there's no fall damage. <laughs> uh so I don't I don't know what kind of game it is. Uh it it feels it feels kind of like a mix between maybe a platformer uh and and journey. I don't I don't know if you played that game um back in the day. But uh, so far, it's just like, so far, uh, I'm a sad, I'm a sad girl, uh, who is dealing with her emotions, um, you know, in a white, in a white world. And I have some blue hair, so I'm kind of kick ass. And there are some shapes ahead of me. I don't know if I should like can I can I do anything about them? I don't they don't seem to be the shapes do not rule me. I can walk through them. They do not touch me. Haha. <laughs> There's so much destruction. I know right that's that's the other thing it it feels uh it feels very much like um like ozymandias uh, the uh the percy the percy shelley poem um look upon my great works and despair like the destruction of this of this world it's beautiful And I love that she's the only thing in color. Oh. I fell. I fell down. Yeah. Like, is, like, is her blue hair... Um, her, her blue hair, like representing the fact that she's, uh, that she's grieving and she's, she's wearing, um, a black coat. So I don't know. I feel like I should, uh, turn down the sound a little bit because it's loud in my ears. Keyboard volume. Oh, what are you? Oh, are you a will-o'-wisp ready to take me on my way? Are you going to help me, little mister? I have a spren. Yes. I'm becoming a Knight's Radiant, guys. This is kick ass. Life before death. Strength before weakness. Journey before destination. Do -do -do. Yeah, it's super pretty. And I, I love how this this little light thing, um, it's moving. <laughs> it moves around in like little lines and leaves behind little dots. It's cute.
Uh, okay. Because I'm not going that way. Oh, okay. Gotcha. We're going places, guys. Hello? Can't... What are you? What? Hello, like, little square thing? I, I want to be friends. Can, can we be friends? No? Okay. He's ignoring me. Okay. There's a thing over there that I have to get to, obviously. Ah, let's go over here. Aha! An addition to our friend? Nice. Oh, okay. Ah, I see. We have to... Uh, we have to collect these things so we can build a bridge, I think. Hmm. Okay. Oh. It's like, it's like a stingray. Come back here. I want to put you on trial for what you did to Steve Irwin. Oh, okay. You're going to get away with that, I guess. Whoa. Fine. Ooh. Building some geometry. Nice. Um, can I... It's a leap of faith. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry I brought it up. It's too soon. It's too soon af uh, after that. Whoa. Nice. We got this. Okay. Uh... Another leap, leap, leap. Okay. <laughs> they must pay. They must all pay. Oh, now I have three. So yeah, now I can, now I can do what I want over here, which is make uh, a bridge. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, guys. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, what was this? Got a uh, like an Ozymandias kind of big statue thing. Nice. What? What was this place? Oh, no. It's so broken. <laughs> Whoa. What? What the... Whoa! Oh! So... Okay. So, what, what... We, uh... We've now reached red. Um... So at first we were we were numb, right? We were white. Uh 
we were numb to our uh, numb to our feelings, right? Our and now we're angry and the world is red. Right? Beautiful. And we are angrily running up the stairs. Angry. Okay. By the way, thank you, uh, everyone, for st sticking around for this. Um, I think this is this is a beautiful game. Whoa! What are what is happening? Okay, we made a oh, we made a constellation. Nice. Sweet. Okay. Can't get over there. At least not yet. Oh no. We've been trapped. Yeah, we definitely can't get up there. Okay. Hmm. It is super beautiful. It's so beautiful. Holy crap. Okay, let's go this way. All right. Downstairs. Up and down the stairs. Yeah. We're just uh we're just exploring. I wonder if I'm supposed to go down there, but I I feel like we're not gonna be able to do much beyond Oh well. Oh wow. Whoa. We're becoming more red, too. This is gorgeous. Whee! Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Apparently we're an edge dancer. Nice. Super glad we didn't die there. <laughs> okay. Let's go. No fall damage. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What a gorgeous shot. Oh, there's the title. Uh huh. We uh we've we we've passed the tutorial, I guess. Nice. We.
Still in the red world. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. We got, uh, got some. Yeah, it, it's a fun game. I've only played, what, like 10 minutes? 20 minutes, maybe? Ooh. Oh, the uh, lovely pyramids in the background. That's very nice. And oh my god, the music. Holy crap. Uh oh. Oh no. What is happening? The, s the storm. Oof. Okay. All of a sudden, I felt very much in danger. <laughs> yeah. It, it very much seems like there's a lot of symbolism. Like, I, uh, oh no. Oh man. We are having problems. We are having problems with our, uh, dealing with our emotions, I think. That's our, that's the problem. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. Ah, crap. Okay. Yeah, the wind definitely pushes you back. Yep. Yep, another one of those helpful things. Hello, little friend. Uh-oh. Here we go. Okay. It didn't push me back that time. Whee! Okay. Let's go. E. Oh, cr oh no. Oh, I should, uh, I should amend my, um, uh, stream thing, shouldn't I? Uh, I totally forgot. Hold on, hold on a second, guys. Oh, the, the wind's gonna push me, that's okay. Stream manager. We are no longer just chatting. We are playing Gris. Okay. Okay. Wind. We have to talk. Um, it's not cool for you to just like push me back all the time I'm just a girl I'm just a girl with blue hair and I'm having trouble dealing with my emotions and it's pushing me back Arrgh. okay here we go I guess we're just going to jump down. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. 
I don't know, we push back because we'll, I wonder what this girl. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. What happened to you? Pink. Uh, pink. Uh, blue haired girl. Why are you so sad and angry? Oh, no. <laughs> I fell. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that there's no fall damage. I think maybe I don't have enough of the, like, little guys to go here yet. Nope. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, no. More wind. Urgh. Go away, Stormfather. You don't need to blow me away. Oh, there we go. Yay! We have our new... We have our... Oh, we have rock buddies now! Nice! No, Storm, don't don't push me away from my rock buddies. I like my rock buddies. Okay. Cool. These are my friends. Rock. I'm going to call you um, The Rock because you're the biggest one. Um, oh, no. More uh, more wind. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. We oh. Okay, yeah. I probably deserve that. There we go. See, this is a nice, relatively painless platformer. Oh no. Uh, next up on my platformer list is uh, is Hollow Knight. So that's less painless. All right, here we go. Going up in the world. Oh no. Wee. Okay. We're fine. Yeah, Hollow Knight. I saw um I saw uh oh whoa. I thought that was blood. <laughs> but no, it's just legs. <laughs> Bloody legs. No, I I want whatever that is. How come I can't get that? No, I maybe I maybe I went too slowly. Um, but yeah, I I saw uh a, I saw Vienna play uh, Hollow Knight, and it seemed really fun. So I I want to try it at some point. since my computer refuses to let me play uh, Elden Ring. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! We're not in Kansas anymore. How many wind references uh, and storm references can I make? No one knows. What are what? How come these things are so far up that I can't jump to them? Okay. Well, I guess we'll just leave it alone for now. T 
there's just so much destruction. And things floating everywhere. Oh. Something's happening. I can't move. Whoa! I'm floating. Nice. I made a square. Cool. Hold. Uh, no. No. Okay. Oh. Nice. I can become a rock. Sweet. I can harden myself off from the pain. And become a rock. Oh no. Oh, I'm probably supposed to do that when it's... When the wind is coming. Nope. Okay, I guess not. The wind is just going to do that no matter, how, no matter what I do. Okay. I guess I'm not supposed to go that way. Because... It's just pushing me back every time, so. Um, okay. Let's go this way, then. Oh. There we go. Can I? Oh, yes, I can. Thank you. Thank you very much. But I did get to go back and get that thing. So that's a that's a good. That was a good sidetrack. OK, cool. You can't hurt me, wind. I can walk through you now. Aha! Thank you, square thing, for giving me the tools to succeed. I also noticed that there isn't a health bar. So, like... There isn't supposed to be combat in this game. You're just exploring, which is great. It's it's super cool. Okay, we are now walking through the storm. Because it is not relenting. Damn. What hurt you, girl? Huh? <gasps> wow. That's so gorgeous and sad. Oh. There's so much pain. Look at that design. You can feel the pain in that in that statue. Jeez. The anguish. The agony, yeah. Okay, well, I have to go through that, I guess. Nope. Ding, 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 ding. Oh. Big rock. This is the rock. 
<laughs> okay, let's uh, let's go see what that thing I can break is. Yes, legs. Oh, I uh, okay. I can go around. Nice. It's hard to tell uh, where I can go and where I can't because that's a platformer. We we are falling. Oh, are we? Are we still in Red World? Oh, not anymore. Now we're in Green World. I think. Whoa. Dude. Oh, so much pain. And she's mirrored in these, in these statues. And wow. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Oh. Sorry, Mr. Statue. Oh. Okay. So I can I can break these, I guess. That's sad. I don't wanna break these. Oh, whoa, I guess, what, what the hell, what is happening? <sighs> Are we back in the white world or no, the red world? What is that? Protractor. Uh. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, nothing was hostile to me. Um. Yeah, no, you're good. I'm. I'm super curious too. Like, what is? She's. She's processing her. Uh, her emotions and her grief. Definitely. Um, and breaking the statue seemed to send her up. <laughs> we I hope I'm not like, I'm not missing anything. Like, I mean, the, um, any paths and stuff, but I guess, I guess that's okay. Oh, back in Red World. Hey, buddies. So much geometry. They're just like giant protractors. Legs! Legs for days. No. Oh. Ah. Uh. 
Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted. Yeah. Let's go. Sorry I'm not talking very much, guys. This game is just, like, so captivating. It's weird. Okay. Can I go this way. Oh, no, I can't do that. No. I guess I have to go this way. No. There has to be a way to get up there. Wee. Okay, no, that was. <laughs> yeah. Spent all of our time in slack jawed awe. Interesting that we can't. I guess. Oh, no, that is not what I meant to do. I guess let's try and go the other way. Whee. Oh no, I can't go this way. Huh. Unless. Uh, no. Can't do anything there. Okay. Let's go. Nope. Okay. Let's... Go back over here and try and see if we can crack the code. Keep doing that. Don't mean to. Hmm. Nice. Ah. Gotcha. Let's see if we can make it. Yes. Ooh. Too greedy. Okay. Now we should be able to go the other way. I wonder how long this game is. So we're just kind of chilling and going. Let's go. Processing our emotions that make us feel angry and gr grief filled. Okay. Let's go over here. And we. Oh. Whoa. All right. Yeah, it does. It does feel like it can 
just like go and go and go. All right. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> This game is super introspective, yeah. Oh. I can, like, hit those things. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't think it did anything, though. Oh. We're back here. Or no. A room like it. Hmm. So how do I get both of them? Aha. I got it. Nope. Okay. Let's go to the left. To the le oh, damn. Nope. Let's go. Oh. Guess we should go this way. So say the birds. No. Where do you want me to go? Uh, up there. Uh huh. I can break that. I hope I'm not going to miss that, because that's... That'd be unfortunate. Okay. But, like, how do I get that? That's how I get that. Oh no. <laughs> Hot air balloon, yay! Nope. I wanna, like, I wanna be able to get. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Bucket list uh, to be on a hot air balloon, to get in a hot air balloon. That's a good, that's a good goal. Oh, okay. I'm not certain how to get. Up there. Maybe if 
I go down here. No, that's not going to let me do anything. Hmm. Trying to get on top of the on top of there. I don't know how. Cause if I hmm. Cause if I go low enough for um, for my character to jump it it doesn't hmm. maybe if I go all the way down and gonna miss it damn okay that's how that's how you do it I think <laughs> yeah her uh, she never skips leg day man <laughs> never skips leg day there we go Do not... Okay. Nice. How's everybody doing in the uh, in the stream? Um, how's everybody's night going? Just chilling, playing Gris. But how are you doing? Okay. Okay. I don't have enough. <laughs> yeah, a line rider. Ooh, that's a good idea. Thank you for the redeem, uh, the hydrate redeem. I'm going to um, pause real quick and get more water. Because um, I don't have that much left. I'll be right back.
Okay, got some water, and I'm ready. Oh, that's good. Good that you're relaxing. This is a, a this is a relaxing game, sort of. Thank you. I'm glad to be back. Oh, big rock. Oh no, I can't go under it. Okay. Guess I will have to go this way. And, oh no. I can definitely destroy that rock, friend. But I don't want to. They haven't done anything to me. Crush. We are the aggressors. Oh no. First blood. Poor rock friend. Oh, wait. Oh. Rock friend helped us. Thank you. All right. You know who never skips leg day? That guy. That guy never skips leg day. Let's go. Now we have all the friends to make us light bridges. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Really? You're not going to let me go all the way down? Fine. Surely. Maybe if I'm right in the middle. No? Okay. We need to be heavier. We need to be heavier. Okay. Thanks for that. Thanks for that, Ash. Um, yeah, and I, I totally get that it can be hard to manage the whole VTuber thing. So, you're good. Oh. I see. I see what I must do. Geronimo! Really? Couldn't... Couldn't get there. Could, couldn't, couldn't get there. Fine. No, it's okay. You're fine. Gotta go back up there. Try again. Oh, probably uh, 
go from up here. Oh, oh, nope. Okay, can't get up there from there. Can I? Aha. Yeah. Let's go. Bam. Aha. So much dedication. Whoa, I think we're moving. Yeah, we're moving. Gotta commit to the bit, man. Commit to the bit. Okay, let's go. Yes. Oh, these are white rocks. Another hand. Are we accepting things? Maybe. Oh. Now we're going to Green World. Are we going through the five stages of grief? I think so. Whoa. Wee. Where will we end up? No one knows. <laughs> and we died. <laughs> okay. We're alive. No fall damage. The laws of physics don't work here. Oh, nice. We're going to get a new uh, constellation. Or a new part of the constellation. Yeah, cool. All right, going this way. Keep on going. I love how artistic this game is. Oh, oh no. Guess I can't go back. <laughs> um, jump. Little fuzz balls. Ah, 
You are adorable. I shall name you Oddish. Look at my friends, the Oddish. And the dragonflies, nice. Are we like, like I I know, it's it's very artistically beautiful, but uh, I can't help but think that um, this is just like bumpy, hairy man flesh. I'm I'm sorry if that ruins everything. <laughs> Just gotta live my truth, man. Oh no. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should I shouldn't I I soiled I soiled the, the game's artistic beauty. Oh my god. I have to I you have to be my new friend. See, this this like black this black crap looks looks like hair. Right? It's I'm not crazy. I I'm not crazy. <laughs> <gasps> the cube. The cube is back. I saw him for a second. Where are you, cube buddy? Oh, nice. I'm not, I'm, see, I'm not crazy. Haha. -ha. Moss have hair. Haha. -ha. Yeah, gotcha. You went poof. Yes, sanity's cured. Okay, I guess we have to go back here. Oh, oh. There we go. The cube, cube buddy. Hello, cube buddy. Are you going to help me? Uh, are you going to help me uh, get over my problems? Oh, now that's just gross. Hair moss?
I am not brave enough to look up that. I don't want uh, that searing my eyeballs. Apples? I don't have any apples. I would give him apples if I had any. The trees? How do I get the, the apples from the trees? I don't... I don't have a lot of, um... Grabby motions. Those trees. <gasps> if I do it up there, uh -huh, I gotcha. There you go. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> So cute. Okay. What should we name our friend? We have to name him. And it can't be something like QB, because that's just weird. Oh, thank you, Pennaps, uh, for the raid. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream? What were you playing? Um, well, welcome Raiders. Uh, my name is Emrys. I am the Fey Librarian VTuber. Uh, and tonight we are playing Gris. Thank you, Cat. Uh, thank you and have a good night. Yeah, uh... The bookworm is gaming. Um, we are trying to process our complex emotions. Um, and I don't know how we're doing, but we're just kind of like going along and winging it. And we're feeding our friend apples. Have a good night, cat. Have a good night. Okay. Yeah. Hello, friend. Oh, no. You have, like, cracks in you. How how did you get cracks in you? Oh. We're going to dig a hole. We dug a hole. Do, do okay oh okay we can't get up there guess we have to go down here hmm how did you get down there 
probably going this way. All right. Now how do what? Are, oh, when I when I do the the cube thing, he does it too. Holy shit, that's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. But like, I'm here, but where do I go? Nothing that way. Yeah. You can't follow me up. Which is why I think that I'm supposed to go down here, but like, there's nothing to do down here. And I can see. There are apple cores. Hmm. Interesting. Why can't he jump up here? That's sad. I'm sad. Okay. Am I missing something, like, stupidly obvious that I'm supposed to be doing here? Because I don't see it. I don't see what I'm supposed to be doing. Have I tried the more button? Uh, I have not. Which which button is that? Ah, I'm Morbin. I'm Morbin, guys. I'm Morbin. <laughs> the Joker faction button. <laughs> you know the message is gonna send. Oh no, something I want is on sale? Oh my god. What, what? Now I'm not gonna be able to, uh, to ignore it. Is it, uh, is it the Leather Bounds? Um, the Sanderson Leather Bounds? There has to be something down here that I can do. Otherwise, why am I here? Oh, Kith and Ken, okay. Thanks for letting me know. That's fine. I... Oh! Wait! That was... That was silly. <laughs> okay. I made it out, guys. I'm, I'm no longer trapped. You just couldn't jump because I wasn't jumping enough. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> it that does help. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm definitely enjoying this game, uh, Jonas. It's super, it's super good. Okay, I guess I need to be up there somehow. Okay. It's like, it's super artistic and stuff. It's really good. Okay, but like, I'm not gonna be able to make that jump. Okay. Oh, I can make him do that. Nice. That's okay, Jonas. Tutorials are hard. That's why, uh, that's why Dark Souls doesn't have any tutorials. <laughs> nice. Oh, he's rolling. Poor cube guy. Yeah, Dark Souls is hard on its own. It doesn't need a tutorial to, to make it hard. Oh, hi. Yeah, come here. I've got an apple for you. There you go. I gotta say, he's really cute, but he does a lot of littering. Come on. How come I can't follow you? Oh, shit. That's true, they are biodegradable. Okay, I don't have what I need for that. <clears throat> Did my buddy just like abandon me? Cause he's gone. Oh no, I have been abandoned. Okay. Okay, go up here. No. That's, that's not annoying at all. <laughs> I know, right? I fed him apples and he just up and abandoned me. Aha. Oh, I missed. <laughs> But I did find the way.
That's weird. Okay. Go over here. Okay. Guess we're not going over there. can't get to these at all. Oh, duh. Oh, no. Crap. <laughs> Went one too far. Okay. I'm not gonna be able to jump there. No. I don't. Okay. There we go. <laughs> you are my brother, Anakin. There we go. Oh, no. Okay. Well, yeah. Are we... Nope. No. You were the chosen one! To feel all your emotions. The dark side and the bad side. And the good side. Oh. Crap. You know. I love the music so much. It's so calming. Hmm. How do I get there? Because, like, I'm not going to be able to get up here.
too soon maybe I can just go go somewhere else oh no problem no problem Ash have a good night thanks for sticking around Let's go over here and see what we might be able to do over here. Okay, still can't do that. Okay. Do 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 We're just exploring, platforming, parkouring in this wasteland. Hmm. But like, I can't, hmm. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Krista. Have a good night. That's yeah. It's it, it's a really good game. I'm probably gonna uh, end the stream pretty soon. Oh, damn, uh, pretty soon too. We're at the th we're near the three hour mark. Um, I just want to try to uh, see if I can get up here or on the on the left. <laughs> it's a it's a, a, a great game, so I'm don't blame you for staying. No, okay. Okay. No, <laughs> that's not happening. Uh, okay. Hmm. No, I don't 
don't think I'm going to be able to jump that. Okay. Well, I think, uh, I think that I'm going to call it here, um, because I don't know how to get over there. Um, and I will, and I'm getting kind of hungry and we've been going for three hours. So, um, thank you very much for all of you, uh, sticking with me, um, through the talk, uh, talking about, um, Robert Frost poetry and now trying this really great game, Grits, uh, Grits, <laughs> Grizz. Um, you can tell that, uh, that I was, uh, you can tell that I had, that I have some experience in the, in the Midwest and the in su Southern States. Um, but yeah, um, I had a, I had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, so we are going to find someone to raid. Um, and then, and I will say good night. Um, and do we, do we save or is it? They must. Oh. How do I save? I don't know how to save. I assumed that it was like... Auto-saving. Um... Hold on. Hey, hardhead. How's it going? Um, I'm just going to quickly look up how to save. Oh, okay. It saves auto save. It also saves. Okay, cool. Uh, we're, we're having a great, uh, we're having a great evening. Um, we're, we're actually just about to end the stream and raid somebody. Uh, I was just panicking a little bit about quitting without saving, but it, the game auto saves, so it's fine. Okay. Yes. Yeah, let's raid somebody. Oh, okay. This is uh this is perfect. Um Oh yeah, um who who's uh who do you have in mind? I was going to uh I was going to raid um emerus rhymes with with abyss because it's a fellow emerus but if you if you have somebody else that uh needs to use more go ahead well, thank you hardhead i'm glad you enjoyed uh the stream Yeah, the sewing emerus. I love the sewing emerus. We do uh we do strive to uh to have chill vibes. Except when I'm screaming at uh Elden Ring a little bit. Um, trucking Sims. Okay. Uh, okay. You guys, you get to choose. Uh, do you want, um, do you want to raid someone doing Minecraft or, uh, trucking Sims? I'll, uh, I'll let you guys decide. Or, uh, so it's uh it's trucking sims uh or minecraft or um 
or we could do Emrys, uh, who is doing Soten Bori. I've never heard of that. Okay, let's uh let's do puzzle pulsar. Cause trucking sims. Um puzzle pulsar. Okay. If I could spell, that'd be great. Okay, um, I'm going to start the raid. Uh, and uh, I will say goodnight. And I will see you guys next time, hopefully. And have a great night. Thanks for, thanks for joining me. Um, bye.